it has a magnitude as well as direction and if any of them changes the area vector will considered to will be considered to be to have changed it will be considered to have changed so what happens how do i do this so i'll have to divide my area into very very small parts you understand in very small parts and then i'll have to find out b dot a and then i'll have to sum them up do you understand so i do something like this i take very small areas so b dot delta a and then i sum it up the same trouble comes when a plane surface is pierced by by a non uniform field you know there also the same thing is happening here a is a constant but b itself is varying no the angle is varying angle is varying everywhere no in this even though the area is plane area vector is a constant the angle of b is varying or both can vary right or both can vary so you have maybe any arbitrary thing like that and you also have the you also have the vectors kind of like this you understand there are so many variations variation number 1 when the area is plane b is non uniform b non uniform means it makes varying angles correct the the distances change here b is uniform area is curved here the area is curved and b is also also not uniform and i'll have to my 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 theory my formula has to tackle the worst case how do i tackle it so what i say fine whatever you are i don't know what i'll do i'll divide my whole area into very small pieces i'll take the dots after that and then i'll sum them up so if i sum them up discreetly it is something like this you know for historical reasons the the area is s surface area okay because a gets reserved for amperes and other things so 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 it becomes actually b dot ds integral is a continuous summation right so what does my magnetic flux become ultimately it becomes b dot ds why did i need ds to sum up the non uniform fields or to sum up the non uniform fields or to take into account the curved surfaces otherwise it is not possible okay you see here the area vector is that and here the area vector is is this is it not it's something else or maybe 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 this correct 90 degree and they are all in different directions you understand so the most common way to tackle it is this and hence we define magnetic flux to be magnetic flux to be v dot ds over the whole surface over the whole of the surface do you understand this Hmm? Do we understand this? Why we needed to define it like this? Hmm? You want to? No. What does an integration do? Integration does what its name suggests it does. It integrates. Okay. It integrates what? what is integration integration is nothing but sum actually it sums whenever you are talking about integration you are actually summing fine 
and we wanted the addition of small c we def, we defined that it is b dot a fine but if b and a are constant then immediately you will be able to do so so for, so these were easy examples a was fixed b was fixed the trouble here is what one of the vectors is a variable vector it has no fixed direction it depends on place it's place specific you shift a bit direction changes i shift a bit direction changes so what way out do i have to find out b dot ds b dot s i cannot define one vector which, which defines the whole whole surface area can i no here there was absolutely one vector that was defining the whole surface okay here there was absolutely one vector velocity that was defining the whole surface that, that is constant the first trouble got introduced say here here what has happened b has no fixed direction is it not so suppose this is a point and it is originating in all direction then if i see here then it is in that direction and there it is that direction and here maybe it is here and and diametrically opposite it is it is it is in some other direction you understand my difficulty so what b do i take so i said fine what you do is you take a small area here and take the vector or area vector perpendicular to that and at that small area you find b dot da and what do you assume take that area so small that your direction of a does not change a direction of b does not change in that small area so almost i took a point i almost took a point then i shift so i shift to this point there say it is making some some other angle it has changed slightly so i find out b dot a there and what i do 